This video will be covering how to find the centroid of our eye section. So firstly, we'll be finding the horizontal centroid, then the vertical centroid. So X bar means the centroid, AI means the area of the, in this case, the part that we want to analyze, and XI is the part of the beam that we want to analyze as well, and divide by the total area of the part. So this will make more sense if I split this eye beam into three parts, which I'm about to do now. So as you can see, we have a green part, blue part, and pink part. So for the green part, we have the area is 20 by 100 and the centroid of the green bar is 50. Now we have the blue part, the area is 200 by 10, and the centroid of the blue bar is 50. Um, let me explain why this is 50. It's because if we, we should have actually started off with a reference point right here. So centroid from this reference point to the middle of the blue bar is 50. And for the pink part, we have the area as 10 by 100, and the centroid again is 50. So now we divide by the area of each part. The area of the green part is 20 by 100, plus the area of the blue part is 10 by 200, or 200 by 10, plus the area of the pink part is 10 by 100. If you put this into your calculator, you should get 250,000 divided by 5,000, and this would be 50 millimeters from the reference point and this was our reference point right here so this is what we expect because in the in the horizontal direction the eye beam is actually symmetrical so therefore the centroid we expected it to be here so we could have done this by intuition but i just wanted to show you how we do it using numbers so for the y centroid it won't be that simple because it's not symmetrical we we have a figure of flange on the top of 20 millimeters on the bottom is 10 millimeters so this will shift the centroid more towards the top because the top is more heavy so let's go through the y centroid calculation again the formula is very similar to the x centroid it's, instead of the xi we'll be finding yi now okay so for the green part our area is again 20 by 100 and the centroid for my refer reference point is actually different. This time it's 10 plus 200, so 210. And then plus half of 20, so it's 220. So for our blue section, the area is 200 by 10. And the centroid is, from the reference point is plus 10. 100 is half of the blue's y axis, so yeah, 10 plus 100 is 110. Area of pink section is 10 by 100, and the centroid is 5 from the reference point. So again, I'll quickly route the areas for each section. So this would equal to 665,000 divided by 5,000. So our Y centroid is 133 millimeters. And as expected, it's higher up. The centroid of this whole eye beam is 50 millimeters here. And then you go up 133. So it would be somewhere here, approximately. That's your answer.